Well, ladies and gentlemen, we filmed this intro once already, but it was on my camera that was stolen out of the car that we rented in Fort Lauderdale. We just, I don't even know. I can't, I hate a thief. I can't stand a thief. They took my drone that I just bought the day before the Puerto Rico trip, or I bought that on the Puerto Rico trip, I think, in the airport, in the airport. on the way to Puerto Rico. Bought a drone, gone. Uh, brand new, or not a brand new camera, the camera, the lens, brand new SD card, brand new microphone for the camera, gone. Uh, they left the fishing rods though, the $50 Bass Pro rods. Good thing we got the tourney specials. Yeah. Good thing we got a tournament special. Got $100 worth of fishing rods. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing that I can tell you to never be in your entire life, it's a thief. And I know for a fact the person that did this is watching this right now or has watched my Instagram story about this because you have my debit card that says Fishing with Yak Pack LLC on it. I, I won't make threats. Just, it'd be cool if you could mail me my SD card back because I don't, everything else I'll... Gotta love it. I can't stand a thing. I'm about to whistle and diesel them. <laughs> About a whistling decent, whistling decent do, probably. Yeah. So, anyways, we pull up, we get the rods rigged up, walk across the canal, do some fishing. We we're gone for like three hours, and uh, had a pretty good day of fishing. Me and April did pretty good uh, on the Timu versus the Wish stuff. Trey used the Wish stuff. I called him. You could, Trey, you called you called him pretty good. Yep. We, we kind of separated. That's how we usually always like to do it. But man, a thief. Two minutes after we was gone. Yeah, we saw the security footage of it, but it's not clear enough to see like the person, like who it was. Um, two minutes after we walked away, we weren't even like fully at the at the red light right there yet. Two minutes after we walked away, I took all my stuff. So I'll get a camera here soon. I don't know. I don't know. It sucks. I hate a thief. I hope your mama stumps her toe. Stumps her toe. And I hope she gets food poisoning. Mm, she deserves it. And I hope your grandma chokes on a corn cob. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it sucks. No joke. I don't even know what else to say. It just, look, show them the, show them the thing. Show them the thing. So they busted this out. My camera was back there. Also, keep in mind, keep in mind. Also, myself and for the UFC fans, I know I talked about this at some point in this video. For the UFC fans, uh, me and Mike Chandler are really good friends. I'll throw some pictures up on the screen. Uh, we've fished here before numerous times. We've literally parked. Here and here. Numerous times. And by numerous, I mean like 20, 30, 40 times. Spent a lot of time fishing here. Um, very safe place, whatever, it happens. Uh, camera was right there. Drone was right there. It's a rental car, by the way. They bust this window, then they bust this window. Then the rental car, instead of taking the, the car back to get another one, it's like 6 p.m. almost, and we gotta have the rental car back by 11 p.m., so what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Why you gotta be a thief? I know you're watching right now. And I don't even know what you're thinking. But just know I'll beat you. I promise you that. I promise you that. Took my money, my debit card, my driver's license, took my hotel room key. Why? Why would you do that? I don't even know, dude. I hate thieves, but. Well, here we are, ladies and gents. They're definitely gonna charge me a cleaning fee for that. Yeah. Like I said, we just got back to the hotel. We just got done filing the police report. I just got off the phone with the rental car company. I have to make a, a claim through my insurance to then go through their insurance. I have to call my bank tomorrow because, oh buddy, while we were out fishing, I got a fraud alert email from my Chase like Fishing with Yak Pack business account. Oh buddy went to Target, I guess, and tried to buy something for almost 500 bucks. I assume it was probably a PlayStation or an Xbox. That's about what those cost, I think. So. We've already done this part once and it sucks because we absolutely freaking killed it. But of course my camera's gone. So I'll just kind of run you guys through this real quick. And it's, I mean, do we have our, our bag of uh, stuff that we had? It's in the room. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we already used all the stuff. I don't want to spoil the surprise of what'll happen in the video and the fishing fishing was pretty good today to be 110 degrees down here in south florida but we'll run up to the room we'll grab that maybe we'll go sit by the pool or something and we'll do like a a second unboxing of this stuff but i mean murphy's law right anything that can happen will happen 
no matter how bad it sucks, like, just don't let it ruin, I ain't gonna say don't let it ruin your day, because it's very easily, you can ruin your day, just, it's not the end of the world, and it does suck really bad, because, I mean, that's, oh, but whoever took it, they got video footage of them, it took, like, $8,000 worth of stuff from me, so, it sucks, but, let's go grab the stuff and unbox it, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here now after the little incident today of the guy stealing $8,000 worth of camera equipment from me. So we're gonna run this back and do it again because you can't let it get you down in life. But uh, Trey actually is gonna be using the Wish app stuff today. And then myself and April are gonna be using the all of the Timu stuff for this video specifically. So Trey, go ahead and uh, kind of, all right, tell them what you got or what you wish you would have got. <laughs> well, I wish this beautiful blue Shimano box would have actually had a Shimano reel in it, but it didn't. Then it had this abomination of a spinning reel. We won't get too in depth about what happens to the spinning reel because we already have fished today for this video, but there is also a Shimano sticker <laughs> on a non-Shimano fishing reel. And by sticker, I mean a sticker you would put on the windshield of your truck. <laughs> no, like not even that high quality. It's like a, a way lower end sticker than that. <laughs> oh my God, um, bro. But yeah, I had this absolute atrocity of a spinning reel broke. Um, I had this Sugi, Sugi Lugi Laney four piece chartreuse rod. No, I mean, yours is a five piece, wasn't it? Ew. It's a lot of pieces. I think, it, I think Trey's rod ended up being a five One, piece rod. Two. Nope, it's a three piece. Oh, okay, okay. Um, wound up being a little bit better than I expected. Like very first cast, I boat, I boat flipped a four pounder. Oh my god! On this bro. rod, and it almost bent over. I still haven't seen what Trey has caught today, uh, because I haven't edited this, this video yet. But we split up when we got to the. You'll, you'll see this in a minute, but we split up when we got to the uh, fishing spot today. So I haven't seen what Trey caught. And so I have no idea. I caught all of my fish. It was a little baby swim bait. It was like a two, three inch swim bait. I caught all my fish on that, used all those. Yeah. Um, but I got some little ring worms. Crazy looking stuff. Some nice looking curly tail worms. Yeah, those are gas. Those are like the coffee color or something. Some speed worm-ish. Yeah. Purple, lavender, clear. That's, look, look really good. Yeah, that's gas. That looks um, really good. Some type of creature baits. Wow. Holy smoke. This little swim bait. Dang. I never figured out what that was, but it's some type of trap or walking bait. It's real heavy, so I think it. I think it might be like one of those metal jig be, things. Yeah, it could even be maybe a jigging spoon. I'm oh, not a jigging really spoon. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, got a weird shape for that, but anyway. Um, and last but not least, I got a bundle full of poppers. That's crazy. That I didn't even touch. Dang. Well, the there was not enough. Our there wasn't as much stuff from Wish as there is here. It's obviously this entire box of Timu, but uh, I'll go ahead and run through it kind of quick. Actually, I'm gonna take you guys through this this little bag right here, a little shoulder sling bag. We use this today. Let me just tell you guys, by the time y'all start watching, you guys are gonna laugh at this contraption right here because April just had to use it. So just trust me when I tell you, you're gonna laugh. We had a, a compilation bag of a whole bunch of different baits that we put together a whole bunch of cool looking spinner baits. We got a massive, like, a massive pack. There was, dude, there was probably like 300 Senkos in this thing. We got a, a bunch of poppers as well, a little topwater rat thing. Also keep in mind, before we even get to fishing in this video, it was 110 degrees outside today. So I know you guys that are out there fishing as hard as we are, are struggling. And we struggled to an extent today, but we still caught enough to, uh, to make a really cool video and for somebody to steal all my camera gear. But we got these cool little things too. I don't even know what these are. Ain't these little beaver flipping it's a, things? Uh, it's a G-Crack Bluegill, I believe. G-Crack Bluegill, yeah, these are really cool. All right, and then what else we got? We got us a really cool nifty pair of like cool colored pliers, like rainbow iridescent something. I think that's it for in here. But yeah, this little shoulder sling bag definitely came in clutch today because we uh, I had a bunch of GoPro batteries in there. Uh, the extra, like the phone we use sometimes for the extra camera. We got... I'll go ahead and go through this real quick. Look at this thing. I got a bait caster rod and a bait caster with a spinning rod and a spinning reel. And I got this one because it just, it looked really, really cool. They both functioned very well. The rods on the other hand 
are a, both rods are seven foot light. So I'm like just the whole entire thing bends. I'm telling you guys right now, I hooked a fish and landed it earlier. And when you guys see this, you'll, you're will you gonna geek. Like the rod was literally bent. You know how when people say it's doubled over? No, my rod was like quadrupled over. The tip was almost touching the butt. It was insane. But I mean, it's, this was obviously a lot better well done earlier today before the camera and the SD card got taken. Uh, we got a bunch of frogs. Now, Timu actually uh, is hooking it up again with you guys. Y'all wanted to see a Timu versus a Wish app challenge. And I got a lot of comments saying exactly that on the last Timu video that I did. So I was like, you know what? Let's run it back for the homies real quick. Let's run it back for the boys. And we did, and we caught some good fish today. Unfortunately, I don't know, I, just, I don't want to oversay it, but I wish you guys could have seen the original part of this video because it was hilarious. But sometimes in life things happen and it sucks. Um, so yeah. So while we make our way to the fishing spot, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about Timu. Same concept as last time, the last Timu video that I did. A lot of you guys dropped a lot of comments and told me you guys were able to use my coupon code and get a bunch of really cool stuff. School year's coming up. You can get school supplies on there. You can get kitchen appliances outdoor appliances, fishing gear, tons of fishing gear. Timu is the number one free app on the app store right now. You can download Timu at the link in the description. It's popping up on the screen and it'll be the pinned comment. You can use code YAKPAK100 and get a $100 coupon bundle for free. Or you can even open the Timu app put in my code and still get that $100 coupon bundle for free as well. The main reason I'm impressed so much with Timu is because they have amazing deals site-wide sales with up the 90 percent off crazy affordable prices and some awesome coupons as well timu is a marketplace type platform so anything that you're looking for you're going to be able to find it on timu like i said guys check timu out download it at the link in the description popping up on the screen or the pinned comment new users are also going to get first purchase discounts for even more savings hundred dollar coupons exclusive prices and an extra 50 percent off your first timu order so like i said make sure you guys check out timu link down in the description below or the pinned comment use code yakpack 100 grab you guys some gear like i got put it to the test we put ours to the test today and it worked pretty dang good so with that said let's get to fishing ah. all right ladies and gentlemen we're here now I'm going to be using the bait caster on the Sugi Lugi, uh fishing rod, the five piece or four piece, right? Four piece? four piece, four piece bait caster. She's got the four piece like, but the only difference is look how these are very flimsy. So I can't, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to start with the red little Senko. She's got the white little swim bait and the cool colored fishing reel. We'll see how it goes. First things first, we got to make sure our reel is uh set up good so we're gonna take a couple like a little pitch i always like to when i get a brand new bait caster i always kind of like to pitch it out and see yeah that's very loose so we gotta tighten that up like a lot oh my gosh that thing is so flimsy what speed is that gotta make sure our reel is like seriously dialed in because we ain't trying to have no unnecessary backlashes. The longer our line is in the water, the more opportunity we have to catch a fish. Cool little fun fact for the day. Years ago, this would be the 20, 2019 time frame. I brought Michael Chandler here fishing one time. And uh, he caught his first Florida largemouth and peacock all in the same day from this exact spot super awesome experience me and that boy mike we go back it's the homie so let me know down in the comments who do y'all think if y'all are ufc fans who y'all think is gonna win that fight mike or conor mcgregor y'all know i gotta go with my boy mike oh this is gonna be very hard to set the hook on a fish this rod is mega flimsy but if you can do it on a fly rod you could definitely do it on this rod. Look, that's crazy. March is crazy for real. It's like night and day. You, it'll blow your mind. You literally would have caught 10 already. You're done? 
Yeah, it's only 110 degrees, like quite literally. Yo! That was the first bite of the day. Come on, come on, come on. Get back in there, get back in there. I bet you won't do it again. I bet you won't do it again. Nope, that ain't gonna cut it. Let's see what we bring up from here. Oh, oh no! Oh my god, I just broke off. I literally just broke off. Oh my god, bro. It's a peacock, or it's. I just broke off, boys. That gum it, man. Frick, dude, two bites, two failures. Ooh, I don't like how. Oh, boys, no way. First cast, first cast. Oh, this rod is so flimsy. This rod is so flimsy. Oh, it's a giant peacock. Oh, giant peacock, giant. Let's go. Giant peacock. I didn't even get to say anything about the combo yet. Oh my goodness, this fish felt like he was gonna break that rod in half. Oh, no way. Look how, that's a four pounder. That's freaking, that's freaking huge. Let's go. Thanks for biting. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh, that was not as graceful as it, I thought it was going to be. No way. First cast. I started with this little, I remember what name brand it was, but it looks like a little, I don't know, just a little minnow. That's freaking awesome. First cast. No way. Oh, I didn't even get to make an opinion about this combo yet. It's very flimsy for sure. Oh. Oh no, I just, oh no, that's not good. I just casted my combo. All right guys, it may be time to switch baits. It is like, whew. I got some bites on it and I broke off once, but I'm gonna try to put something on that's gonna get uh gonna hopefully get a little bit more bites so i'm gonna even try to do something like something like this Let's see if this works so it's upside down tj i'm hot and delusional right now i'm a hot mess give it a slightly different presentation rather than something red Let's see if white works we will go from there i'm really trying to test out my freaking fish clippies today we just need to Put some fish on the bank to be able to do that. Oh man, I'm 100% drinking a nice ice cold sweet tea as soon as I get back to the freaking house. Ooh, baby. But you can feel every single little movement in this rod. Like it's that bendy, it bends all the way down. Like right there, you see that? It bends all the way down to the freaking butt. So I just need to freaking catch one, man. See how fun it is to catch one on a, a light rod like this. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. First fish, large mouth, yes sir. Yes, sir. I'm literally right after the switch, right after the change up. Come here, buddy, I got you. That was actually crazy. I watched him bite it right at the bank. Just came unhooked. First fish of the day for me on the Timu Special. Nice size largemouth. Yes, dude, that is what I'm talking about. Holy smokes, I wanna get some picture. I'm gonna grab a picture of this dude with the Timu gear and then uh, get him back and keep on fishing. Oh, God. 
You about broke my ride. So, I'm sorry, I got all this nasty stuff all over you. It's a bass. Oh, y'all would not believe this, I call it a 10 pounder. <sighs> On a 10 meter ride. No, I'm just gonna play like it. Two or three. Oh yeah, I have the fish grip. TJ, I caught one, come here. Oh, snap. What you got? A 10 pounder. A 10 pounder? Yeah, it's hurting me. Oh, it's a large mouth too. Yeah. Oh, let's go. I literally just caught one like 10 minutes ago. Hang it's on. so big, it's hurting my hand. I need the grippers. You need the grippers? <laughs> we'll go. You want to see how? All right. I think what you're supposed to do, I think you're supposed to wet them first. Hurry up, my arm's about to fall off. It's about to fall off. All right, so we wet our fish grippers. <laughs> well, let's see. I wonder if we hold it like this. <laughs> it works. Come on, my fish. Hold your fish. Hang on. Ow, 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 ow. Don't squeeze them too tight. Look at that. <laughs> Trophy fish right here. Oh my God. All right, now you got it. Now you got to get in the water and you just kind of got to let them go. Look at the fish grippies. <laughs> Look at its tail. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's get him back. Yeah, it's saying, I'm, I'm Dude, that's sick. Hot. Trey caught, I think Trey said he caught three peacock. And then I caught a large mouth and you caught a large mouth too. That's so sick. All right. Okay, let's just, see. You just let him go, go that way. I think he probably needs to be put, uh, let's see. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, you went the wrong the way, buddy. There you go. Way. There he goes. There he goes. Good job with your little fish grippies. Yeah. <laughs> it was about to, my hand was hurting. It was hurting. It was just such a big bass. You yeah. just had to use the fish grippies. Yeah, that's what had happened. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Well, you want to take a shade break real quick and then get back to it? I literally just got chased by I probably like a five or six pound of peacock right there. Really? Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah. All right. Let's regroup and reorganize and then we'll get back to fit. The accuracy on this rod's not that great but it's because it's so limber but what it lacks in accuracy it makes up for in the fun department because catching these fish on the ultralight it's pretty hard to beat anytime i can get bent that kind of sounds sexual what did he say i don't know what am i trying to say anytime i can catch fish on ultralight i'm gonna try to do it because there's not many things more fun than catching big strong powerful fish on an ultralight just doesn't get much better than that oh no why does this keep happening the connectors on this rod are not very solid it is an absolute burner out here today boys 109 degree true feel but hey guess what these fish are not gonna catch themselves. Oh, let's go. Another one on the swim bait. Boom, baby. Peacock. Let's go. And I both flipped him. Let's go. Oh, he took my swim bait. We'll get you back to your peacock friends so you can go do peacock things. Thanks for biting. Peace. Maybe with this cloud cover, they'll start biting a little bit better. I don't know. This is a very good largemouth spot though, for real. Like all of this right here. I mean, though I've only caught one fish on this, it, uh, it is very flimsy, but it's also a, a seven foot light, which is really cool. Like you really get to feel every ounce of the fish's muscle when you're fighting them. I also feel like this is a very slow reel. I didn't check the package and I don't know why I didn't, but I'm pretty positive this might be like a six one to one for real. Like it's super slow. And usually slow reels, flimsy rod, especially bait casters, not the best mix because it's hard to drive the hook through the fish to be able to catch him. Whew, I don't even know what I'm talking about, DJ. It's that hot out here. I'm just spitting facts. Oh, I'll let him eat it too. Big largemouth right there, big largemouth. 
God. Get in there, babe. God, do you see him? Holy oh. smokes. He just bit me twice. There he is, there he is. Oh my God, oh my God. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. Real, real. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, oh let's go. God, boy. Dude, let's one. go. Look at Oh my God. Oh, fish grippies. Yeah, we need this. We need this. Let's go. Oh, this is long and skinny. Grip it from the bottom like this. Oh, let's go. On the fish grippies. That is a old skinny fish right there. Is it old? Yeah, yeah. It just, it just looks like it needs to eat. Yeah, we Look. need to find some food. I'll feed it. Oh my God, dude! You and your fish grippies. That was so funny. He ate my bait twice. I know, I seen him. And then I was like dealing with mine, and I was like, "Oh no, get in there!" And she got in there, and he freaking smoked it. Fish grippies, fish. <laughs> you you just like put on a little puppet show with your fish. <laughs> put it back in the tank water. <laughs> oh my gosh, that okay. was epic. That was really, yeah. Just kind of, kind of walk him in there a little bit. Like, uh -uh. just get in there. Don't, don't put him in the shallow stuff. Like, dr that's how you do it. Is that how you do it? Yeah. There he goes, right there, right there. Good job, these are babe. The best things they've ever made. <laughs> I love these things. Oh my gosh. Stole TJ's fish. That's all right. I'd rather you catch it than nobody catch it. Holy smokes. He bit my, uh, he bit mine twice. He followed it from far out because I cast it all the way across there. He followed it from far out. It looks like he bit my tail too. I'm gonna have to change baits. Oh my gosh, dude! I just put all the baits up. Oh, yeah. And I was just slow reeling it, and then he crushed it twice. But I mean, you see how skinny that fish was. So he was definitely a hungry boy. Definitely, definitely a hungry boy. We got in yesterday. I couldn't even take a hot shower. Yeah, there's no way you can take a hot shower. It's literally. Ugh. You want a hot shower getting this water right here i promise you this water temperature is over 85 degrees easily i want to i don't even know what temperature water is considered hot other than like boiling water but like that definitely i'm not even kidding y'all when i tell y'all that water could be close to 100 degrees for real this is a good just cast a real slow spot see how i got slack in my line just cast a real i really honestly i can't even think i'm so thirsty Good thing there's a Wawa right down the road that we always go to after fishing here. I took Mike Chandler here. He caught his first peacock and his first Florida largemouth, like mm -hmm. here. And right here? Uh, I took him to Wawa for his first Wawa experience too. Stop. Yeah, he got like a protein, like a some kind of like protein bagel thing or something like that. Mm -hmm. He just got chased by a big peacock right there, literally right there, right there, right now. It's just like you've heard the term like your rod doubles over. Like no, this is like tripling, quadrupling over. Oh my God, I just watched him eat it. What was that? Oh, are you on a fish? Oh my God, that's a big peacock. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, look, be careful. Just be very careful. Just be very careful. Lindsay Rod Gang. That was for sure a six pound peacock, 100%. That would have been your biggest fish you ever caught. It's not good to hear that, but that was a big it's one. It's right there, TJ, still sitting. It hurts worse when you lose a fish that you not only can see the fish and how big it is, you lose it right here at the bank and it's 110 degrees outside. That's when it hurts the worst. I got sweat dripping down my neck, if that tells you how hot it is out here. How many times you ever had sweat drip down your neck? Oh, I got a big peacock. Oh my goodness, big peacock. Oh, let's go, come here, come here, come here, come here. Big peacock, let's go, yes! No way, ow, that hurts, ow. Oh, no way, I might, Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness, no way. Ah, I might've been hating on this combo for no reason. It gotta have been perfect. Good fish on this combo. Let's get him back. See if we can't catch another one. See ya.
God, that was so sick. Let's go. He come up. I watched him. He come up. Whoo, slammed that swim bait. Got him. On the Sugi Lugi Laney. Let's go. I think you need to get it back. Here. Got him. God, look at this rod. Look at this rod. Oh my God. So that's what it feels like to hook a, a peacock bass on it. this kind of rod. It's right there. Right there. What is that? Is Gar. That Gar. Jesus. It's back right there. That was actually insane. Why are you not passing over there? Oh, I'm looking at another one right here. That's gonna be a hard fish to catch. Boys, 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 boys. Oh, boys, let's get this. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. In the trenches on the Timu Baitcaster combo. Good God it Almighty. Was a pop. <sighs> oh. God, dog. Beautiful. Look at them red eyeballs. Oh my gosh. My heart's beating through my chest. That was crazy. All right. It's super, super hot out here, so we're gonna go ahead and get this dude back. Super, super hot out here. We're gonna go ahead and get this dude back. Oh my gosh, that was insane, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. The Timu Headcaster. <laughs> that dude, I really. You guys have no idea how hard I've been working to catch that fish all day long. Also, we finna run that back to see how bad that rod was bent. That rod was literally bent in every every place this rod could bend, it was bent. That was insane. Whoo, let's go Timu, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna bring this video to a close. Unfortunately, we filmed this video about 14 or 15 days ago and it's taken me that long to get all of my stuff back. April's standing behind the camera right now. We now have a new camera, a new lens, a new drone, new GoPros, new batteries, new SD cards, new everything. And don't, don't take this in like the wrong way, but we try to produce the highest quality stuff we can produce for you guys. So anyways, long story short, after I repurchased everything that was stolen from me, it ended up being $11,570. And that sucks because that was not supposed to happen. And we had far bigger plans uh, for that money to be spent. So I don't want to, if you've made it this far in the video, number one, thank you. I love you. Hearts, shout outs to you. Uh, that money was supposed to go to a week long, like a two hour episode in Hawaii and Japan. So if you made it this long in the video, this far in the video, there's a little spoiler alert for the OG the true yak gang throwback yak squad but anyways make sure you guys check out timu link down in the description below a lot of you guys loved it and got a lot of really insane deals last time uh, i did a timu video about a month month and a half ago give or take but with that said i love you guys thanks for the the patience and the support and the love and the kind words throughout this time of thievery and to the thief Though it is 15 days later, if you're watching this, I don't even, I, I literally just can't even say it. But anyways, love you guys. Thanks for watching.
Catch you guys on the next venture. Peace.